Welcome to Link Salvage. This video is an addendum to our previous training video on removing Class II reactors. In our previous video, we demonstrated the removal process on a Gecko Class research ship. Its Class II reactor was mounted on the port side of the ship's inner hull. In some variants of the Gecko Class, Class II reactors are mounted in a cage in the aft section and are therefore more difficult to extract. Acting on feedback from shipbreakers, this video will demonstrate the removal of cage-mounted Class II reactors. To perform this procedure, you will need your Lynx-issued work suit, a modular laser cutter, and a handheld utility grapple with tether capability. As before, we recommend that you remove as much of the ship's outer hull as possible. This will make it easier to access the reactor and its related components. In this example, a Gecko Station Hopper transport has been stripped of its outer hull. Its reactor and thrusters are exposed. Your first step is to turn the thruster ejection switches for each thruster connected to the reactor. These switches are at the junction between the thruster and the fuel pipe. After the ejection switches are turned, the lights on the fuel pipe will turn off. This indicates that the fuel pipes are drained. Use your grapple tool to send the thrusters to the barge. Underneath the reactor vessel, locate the yellow junction connecting the thruster fuel pipes. Use your laser cutter's pinpoint mode to carefully vaporize this junction. The thruster fuel pipes are now floating free. Use your grapple tool to send the pipes to the processor. Next, make your way to the ECU. Use your grapple tool to remove its access panel. Inside the ECU are three small coolant canisters. Use your grapple to pull them loose one at a time, then collect them for salvage. As soon as you remove the last coolant tank, the reactor will lose stability. At this point, the next few steps are crucial as you will have limited time before the reactor explodes. Return to the reactor, then use your laser cutter to sever the connected coolant pipe. Next, activate your grapple's tether mode to pull the reactor housing downward out of the cage. As soon as the reactor housing is clear of the cage, disable the tether. Use your grapple to remove three side panels from the reactor housing then remove the reactor core itself. Use another tether to pull the reactor core down to the barge. The barge's stasis field will stabilize the reactor. Finally, use your grapple and tethers to send the reactor housing to the processor. Accepted for processing. 
Congratulations, you've just salvaged a Class II reactor. From here, you can safely salvage the remainder of the ship. Happy salvaging, and thank you for your service to Link Salvage, a cut above the rest.